Well, if I had heard these a few months ago, I would have hyped the hell out of them. If these had come before the B-Lons had come in, I would have considered these to be really good. I'd consider these to be better than the T800s by AudioSense mm, right away. This is a single dynamic driver and a single BA. Um, it's built really well. If you were to like weld these onto a set of brass knuckles, you could smash someone's teeth in and do no damage to the fucking earphones. I know that that might not be the most appealing visual, but if you were to do that to some IEMs, you'd smash the IEMs. Why would anybody do that? I don't know. I'm just going off on a fucking, like, the wrong fucking path. So let me get myself back onto the normal path. So a single dynamic driver, a single BA, let the focus take over. You can see the dynamic driver, not fucking literally, but this is the area that it's taking care of. It's got a nice elevated low end. Doesn't sound like it's veiling, bleeding, uh, masking, or overpowering any of the info in the mids. That album right there is All Eyes on Me, Double LP by Tupac Shakur. Um, Johnny J, DJ Quick, uh, Daz, Tupac, other people did mixing. High IQ people with lots of fucking weed and really good music equipment and you get something like the All Eyes on Me or Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid Mad City like that that's what happens when genius meets marijuana and all of those little details that they put in like fucking easter eggs in a movie for you as an audio listener are available on this set I feel sorry for people that look at Tupac and think that's hip hop music you're missing out man it's a fucking there's so much going on in the fucking music and I can hear it really good with this that I'm talking about it so much with this set of my hand is kind of a good indication sounds really nice the bass hits good and all the details I expect to be there are fucking there so I'm quite happy it's getting into some other music um, taking it to the streets there's a really nice bass pull on this um, you can hear the guy pulling the string. It's like the Dear Prudence track from the Beatles, where it, it sounds like you can hear the finger gripping the string, pulling it and letting it go, and that thing... Wah. Like, you can hear that. That's how good the bass on this is. It's really, really good. Is it $189? If I'd said that six months ago, it'd be like a joke. That's why I'd be hyping the fucking hell out of this thing. But there's some killers out there now. There's a lot of killers out there. I don't know if Chai Fi is doing this on purpose or this is just a result of trying a thousand fucking things and 10 to 20 of them are sticking in a really good price range. I don't know. I can't fucking say. But this set is really nice. Bass sounds fucking beautiful. On a fucking track like No More No More. Got my mouse on it right here. Um, I'm listening to three things. Steven Tyler's voice, which is just a little bit back anyway. The the hi-hat strike, um, that's always a thing for me. And then the piano, which is from over here to over here. And everything in between. And because it's mixed slightly back, uh, if the mids are just pushing that back a little more, you're barely going to be able to catch the piano. The piano sounds quite nice on this set. Sounds really good, actually. This is... Uh, I consider this to be a U because for personally, I don't care what anybody else says, but if there's a deviation of 10 or more from the lowest point of the mids to the highest point of the treble, I consider that to be a V. We're right about there on this set. So this is borderline V, but doesn't sound like it. And, and a lot of times it doesn't. That's a title that sometimes people get and they say, I'm not interested in something that's got a V signature. I get it. And there's sometimes though when the stuff that's down here is not in a fucking ditch, it's just laying on the side there and it's absolutely available sonically to your ears. You can hear it. There's nothing going on uh, in this track that I can't catch, that I'm expecting to hear, but not hearing it. It's all there. Really good set. I can't, somebody said in a forum comment, I can't believe these aren't getting hyped, but you're saying that after the B-Lons and other stuff came out. That's why, that's what's happening, man. Just if you happen to watch this video, this didn't do anything wrong, 
other things did stuff right at a ridiculously cheap price and made people who don't have a lot of money you might think 200 189 bucks that's nothing to somebody else that's that's a big fucking something that's like their decision for the year people sometimes lose the, the fucking sense of there's multiple you know financial fucking brackets in this hobby and people forget that they're commenting or talking with somebody that's in a totally different world than they are and 189 dollars is something that's serious to them so this does sound really good but there's other stuff that sound quite good and there's stuff that's much cheaper that sounds as good or better and that's the belon that's my opinion but this sounds awesome it's like i gotta qualify this stuff now because someone's gonna say do you like it better than the belon no let me get that out of the way no but this is something that is going to be repeated in videos with that are more than this so brace yourselves I'm, I'm not fucking around that 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 set has changed a lot uh, for me like what is money gonna buy you moving in stereo right here uh, by the cars is a track that's kind of like uh, Black Sabbath's in that it's got this distortion going on remember the fast times at Richmond high the the girl coming out of the pool Phoebe Cates I think was her name and Judd Nelson is masturbating in the bathroom and too much info I didn't make the movie and uh, that fucking song is epic and stuff that's got mm, poor tuning like sweet leaf does will kind of expose stuff that's suffering from masking or veiling this doesn't suffer from that at all in sweet leaf or uh, on moving in stereo by the cars it sounds really 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 good on the sweet leaf track which is right here this is not quite on the level of p1 but p1 doesn't really have bass and sure tape um has m vocals that can get on you quite quickly so you got to listen it you know normal to lower volume where the vocals are going to climb up and start peeling the skin off your fucking face um this set won't do that but it doesn't quite have the resolution on this track sweet leaf by black sabbath that that set has so the benefits of planar or those estat whatever they're coming up with there's the resolving abilities are fucking amazing these are really good um do i wreck them um do you already have the belons have you have you made you know got that into your stable i guess it depends on where you are i would wreck this if you've got that already and you think i want something i actually don't know i'm in a tough position as a reviewer because i've got stuff that's really cheap it sounds really good and then I've got other stuff that a few months ago I would have said for fucking 189 bucks this is a no-brainer and now I got to know that someone's gonna come in and comment and say would you take it over the belon and like I said once already I know I wouldn't but that doesn't mean that this isn't a really good set it is really really good it's probably my favorite hybrid this guide ray I gotta listen to these two I gotta do like a hybrid battle is what's gonna be coming so this is the one dynamic one ba oh 10 it's a really good set it's coming at a time for me after some budget fucking killers have come along just fucking murderers at the 30 50 dollar range so unlucky timing doesn't take away the fact that this is a really good set and should be considered by people but they're coming out with another set very soon this same company right here is going to be making another set so i was just told so keep that in consideration plus 1111 is coming up so you might get this at a cheaper price than has been available because they're releasing a new model and that's the time to get a deal so if you were to be interested in a set like this the next month would probably be and 1111 in particular would be probably the best price you could get short of getting a secondhand set so they're certainly not bad I would not say don't get these ever just know that there's stuff out there that costs not much money 
needs a cable. This doesn't have a killer cable anyway. Like, I, I don't, I would expect more actually. Companies need to step up their game. Like I said, people live in different financial brackets and $189, I'd, I'd, I'd like a better cable than this. Thank you very much. If ISN Audio can sell those fucking massive fucking snakes for like 30 bucks, you could you could add one of those and, and, and make this a much easier wreck. Look at the T3 by Tin Hi Fi. That cable made a lot of sales. Think about the cable, man. This one kind of sucks. The sound is great. And I'll leave you with a nice picture of fucking... Who is that? That's after fucking Ozzy left? That's not Dio, is it? I'm going off the fucking rails. Anyway, I'm out. That's the Ico or the Eco OH-10. It's a great fucking set. It's coming at a time for me personally with killers. If I'd gotten this when it was coming out, I would have hyped the fuck out of it. So, the proof's in the pudding. Just the pudding is really old for me. Um, and I'm out. Shelling my name to be precise, ripping mics.